So I just got out of my four week checkup and everything went really good. I'm feeling really, really, really good since last time I filmed myself. But she basically said everything looks really good. She felt around my belly and just kind of told me another couple weeks for like exercise, um, you know, not to overdo it, yada, yada, yada. My scars look really good. She said everything's healing good. So she said I have another eight weeks to go before my energy is back to normal and my belly on the inside is mostly like healed. So all the inflammation will be down. I won't be like swollen or bloated or anything. Um, so another eight weeks to go until my body kind of like catches up after the trauma of surgery. Um, I didn't realize the trauma that surgery actually is, which is crazy because it really is like just a huge event for your body like our bodies are so freaking cool but it really does take so long to catch back up i mean i didn't expect to feel this good this soon so i'm like my expectations have to like totally exceeded which is really awesome um she was so sweet so this is my surgeon's nurse i haven't seen her before she's like the sweetest person on the planet kept telling me how good i look and everything so she gave me a little confidence boost she told me I can finally like go and soak my belly so I can take baths, I can go in a pool, I could go in a lake, I could do all that stuff. I just have to make sure I'm putting like a lot of sunscreen on my scars so like nothing, nothing less than like SPF like 40, 50 ish. So I have to do that. But overall it's really good. I go back in three weeks and then I see my surgeon again in um, September. Alright, I just pulled into the hospital. Time to go get my infusion. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm not for the actual infusion. I'm just like anxious just because medication is just kind of like a big deal for me. I never really wanted to have to be on medication, but I have to be a big girl and suck it up and just remember that it's like medically necessary right now. And I've come really far and this is just the last step in the process. So I'm just kind of giving myself a little pep talk because this might not be a huge deal to some, but for me it's kind of a big deal, so. different I just feel very tired but I didn't eat much so I grabbed some food from the little hospital shop there and I'm gonna go home and definitely crush a nap I'm very sleepy like they plugged in the IV and all of a sudden like my eyes started closing as I'm watching YouTube so definitely very tired but we'll see what happens now oh my god I hate wearing those things. Let me just tell you, I had the craziest, like, well of emotions when I got in there. It was crazy. Like, being back at the hospital is bringing back, like, just all the emotions that I've just felt this entire time. And just that feeling of defeat, like, just really I was like sitting there crying I was like so cranky I'm like texting my husband I'm like I shouldn't be here like this shouldn't be me you know and like you're 
I've never been to an infusion center, so it's literally just a room with curtains and chairs and just people on IV drips, which was, like, really crazy. I've never seen that. Um, so, yeah, just, like, the craziest, like, slew of emotions came over me, and I was, like, trying so hard not to cry, and I was just sobbing to myself. <laughs> in this chair I mean luckily I was over by my chair was over by the nurse's station so I didn't really see anyone else around me which I'm happy about because I have a very weak stomach so you know thank god that that didn't happen but so I'm officially infused now <laughs> so really crazy but yeah it was really hard for me to like accept that I had to be on medication it's over now so with Stellara it'll take like six weeks for me to see like an improvement in any of my symptoms but I'm not really having symptoms right now because all of the sick Crohn's part has been removed so overall I should just feel really good there's really really minimal side effects to Stellara which is partly why I chose it but I also chose it because it's specifically for Crohn's. Um, it can be used to treat like psoriasis and stuff like that and, and, ulcer and UC ulcerative colitis, but it's mostly used for Crohn's patients only. So I felt really good about making that decision. And then, um, yeah, I mean, there's really minimal side effects. So just like the typical like nausea, you know, um, fever, headache, you know, just stuff like that. So, nothing crazy there. Like, some of these biologic medications, like, you know, your hair falls out, you get, like, rashes. Like, it's, like, it's a little cuckoo. So, starting off with the one with the least side effects and see, you know, see how it goes. But I always do pretty well on medication. I'm on an antidepressant, and I've never had to try new ones or anything. It was just kind of one and done. So, I'm hoping that... This is the same thing. I'm hoping that my body really likes the Stellara and I can just move forward and I don't have to be trying new medications and constantly, like, figuring out, you know, I mean, it comes with the territory, like, I understand that, but it's really what I don't want to happen. So, we'll see. I'm trying to be in good spirits, but last night and this morning were pretty tough mentally. Um, so... Yeah, but that's why I'm doing this, getting the good, the bad, and the ugly, and hopefully I can help someone with my experience. So that's all for today, and I will check in with you soon.